market segmentation in revenue management. When I was in the college, I was going through a book called Principles of Management. There, I read these lines by Peter Drucker. Every business must know who the customers are, and what do they value, or want. The topic that we are going to discuss now, does exactly that. Let me first start with a typical definition of the market segments, that you often might find in textbooks, notes, blogs, and Google search results. The market segments are the groups of customers that are definable, accessible, actionable, profitable, and with growth potential, for any business. Before I decode this technical sounding definition, I would like you to go back in memory, to your first semester front office classes, where you first learned about the concept of hotel classification. Why do we classify hotels? We classify so that we can explain to a customer, what kind of services they could expect from us, and at what price. It is then used for marketing our hotel to our potential buyers. Market segmentation is a link that connects marketing the hotel with revenue management. What is marketing? I hope you know. It is reaching your target market with the right message, through the right medium and at the right time, with minimum expenses and without breaking any law, or ego. The purpose is to inform and influence the buyer. Marketing, quite naturally, results in sales. What is the connection of market segmentation with revenue management, then? Market segmentation helps us to identify a few broad categories of travelers, who frequently stay in our hotel. Each group behaves differently in terms of the type of room, day of the week, type of season, and the price level that they select. Another very important factor for revenue management is the booking lead time, or the booking window, for different types of customer groups. Booking lead time is a measure, of how far in advance the reservation is made. Some people may book more than six months in advance, hoping to gain some early purchase discount. And then there are some others, who would book at the last minute, not because they want to, but because they have to. Let us recall some of the customer groupings we already are familiar with, from our earlier classes. Business guest, and leisure guest, high disposable income guest, and budget traveler, free independent traveler, and group inclusive tour, psychographic segmentation, geographic segmentation, like domestic, and foreign, demographic segmentation, like young, and middle-aged, with children, or without children. I wouldn't waste your time by discussing these classifications all over again. Revise, if you need to. Now I would like to start sharing with you, some basic ideas on market segmentation, that are relevant to revenue management. We need to consider the following aspects of a room booking, to classify customers into meaningful segments. Length of stay. Days of the week. Total revenue per room. Total revenue per guest. Booking lead time or booking window. Cancellation rate. No show rate. Wash factor. Before I list here some easily identifiable market segments in five star hotels, I would like to draw your attention to the fact that market segments are always unique to every hotel, as well as every city, every region, and every country. Reason purpose of travel and attractions of a destination don't always match up. Let us now look at eight prominent market segments, in top class hotels. Leisure, individual, this segment pays the highest rates from their own pockets, books in advance and prefers to use ODA apps. Leisure, groups, these pay low rates, but book large numbers of rooms, and book much earlier. Business, individual, pays higher rates, but does not care. Bills are paid by the company. Often has to make last minute bookings. Business, group, they pay good rates and spend extra on other hotel services. Early bookings. Corporate negotiated rate, they pay from low to good rates, and are a regular source of business. Really a great deal for low seasons. Conference groups, 
they pay low rates, even for the full meeting packages. Preferable during off-season, because they have very high spend in other departments. Think of total revenue. Airline crew, the company pays good rates, and crew are a very regular source of business. Excellent for the slow days of the week. Wholesale and tour operators, they generally pay low rates, but provide regular, high volume reservations. They also prepay, and are able to bring in guests from very far off places, which the hotel might never have reached. Now to give you an idea, of the benefit of market segmentation, you can think of the booking lead time, and the different price points. Which segment books early, and pays better rates? We shall book them first. As rooms keep filling, we would gradually increase the prices, so that the last minute bookings are given to the segments paying the highest prices. This should give you an initial idea of how revenue management process selects the most profitable bookings, by anticipating the behavior of each segment, in response to any changes in price. All customers are not the same. Some are needier than others, a few are richer than others. Now I would like to outline the major benefits of market segmentation. It helps in making accurate forecasts of room reservations. It helps to optimize the market mix. Market mix is the set of market segments a hotel serves. It helps to prepare special marketing strategies for each segment. It helps to prepare special pricing strategy for each segment. I would now like to conclude with the concept of native segmentation. This is the segmentation unique to every property, identified by the revenue, marketing and finance departments. I cannot help but share another way of segmentation, with American flavor. Transient. Corporate. ODA. Consortia. Groove. Wholesale. Smurf. All said and done the most basic criteria for market segmentation are just three. Booking lead time. Price. Other department income. As we cover more aspects of revenue management in next lessons, like forecasting, budgeting performance evaluation, key performance indices and open pricing, we would get a very strong grip on the fundamentals of revenue management and yield management. Thank you for staying till the very end. Have a pleasant day.